What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Um, King and Lena left Kaiser out of family trip. Corey, girlfriend, pre- I don't, let's get it. King and Lena posted photos and videos of themselves at the airport and on the plane with the kids, stating that they had a long flight ahead of them. So now they posted on TikTok and people in the comment section, of course, were asking, where's Kaiser? Someone Ugh. states, cool anyways where's kaiser and y'all taking kaiser too right another person states lol where kaiser so now obviously kaiser did not attend this trip with them and king posted up that they were in tokyo japan now i will say that kaiser was with them that entire week of the storm and this week they did travel out of the country to tokyo now i've seen people going back and forth in the comments on tiktok stating that neek travels out of the country all the time and she doesn't take kaiser but i'm thinking people are asking where is kaiser because kaiser is with his mother he's with his mother he's with his mother he's with his mother <laughs> Yeah, I think um, I think he's with his mother, but whatever. Because this seems like a family trip. They took the kids, but Kaiser didn't go. But we also have to consider maybe Neek didn't want her child traveling across the country without her. But anyways, you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. I know at this point, King and Lena are like, they don't have to explain everything they do to everyone, but I'm pretty sure they knew that this was going to come after they posted that Kaiser wasn't with them on that family vacation. But now let's move on to this next topic with CJ So Cool, Kamari and Lexi. Now, if you guys know, Kamari didn't spend the summer with CJ. Now, Lexi was replying to a few DMs. Someone stated, yeah, that's what they saying because Kamari unfollowed you. Lexi stated, I can't help that. I've been nothing but nice to that child and still ended up being this way. I'm going to keep my distance from her going forward. It's all love. So Lexi is stating that she's going to be keeping her distance from Kamari. But now let's move on to this next topic with Corey and his girlfriend, Maddie. Now, I recently reported that Maddie stated on Twitter that she may be having a baby in 2025. Now, she was on Instagram Live, and of course, people were asking her if she was pregnant. This was her response. Why do people post shit and then turn around and be like, I just wish y'all wouldn't ask me that. <laughs> I think it's crazy. Y'all don't know what I'm supposed to know. If y'all ever know. You can't hide that. <laughs> All right, y'all. So the rest of that video, I kind of just, Matt ain't really talking about nothing. I understand the tea room's position in it, but I can't react to it. So we're going to get into this. Divine is back at it again. For those that don't know, I reacted to Voices video where she is going back and forth with him. But um, she is now reacting to him, I guess, put out a video out about her. So I want to see what she's talking about. I like the way she uh, argues. So let's get it. If I don't react to the video, it's fault. Everybody go banner. No. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Here we go. I guess this is a song. Oh, oh we're coming in strong. <laughs> oh, that's his video. Oh, we're coming in strong. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't give a fuck about nothing, Bree. Unless it's you and I, baby. Unless it's you and me against the world. Unless it's you and me forever, girl. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's how the first 22 seconds of the video started, y'all. So we already know how this shit's gonna go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. I will do whatever for you. Uh -uh. I will do whatever. No. After all this shit I put you through, what the fuck I look like leaving you? After all the shit I put you through, what the fuck I look like leaving you? That don't even make no goddamn sense! Hey, look. 
Special event today, y'all. We back! <laughs> we back right with another video, man. It's your boy Devon J. But, um, I'm about to screen record. I want to show y'all something. Can't put it on the screen, y'all. Just gonna have to listen. He's literally just sitting down, and I'll show you. Hold on. We're on live on her phone right now, not the PC. I'm screen record. I'm on my main page right now on Instagram. He's literally just sitting there talking. I had, I was in my feelings, bro. Like I didn't want to lie, I was in my feelings bad. Like I, I um, I feel like I'm still hurting and shit. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm about 25 now and shit. I, I, I can feel my emotions a little bit and know what's going on and shit. Oh. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I woke up with that man. What the fuck? That's a good thing. Okay, so I'm making nachos today. Got it. Thinking about this girl. <laughs> Why am I still thinking about this girl? Like, what, what's going on? Is it, did she put? Did she put a motherfucking like, a curse on me or something? Like, what, what is it? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, did I put a curse on him? It's crazy. You know, he texted me saying I could. <laughs> she was probably just being a good woman, you know. But um, period, blood. Bro, I'm bro not gonna be texted. Oh, let me open this. Bro, bro texted Bree. I was like, yo, did you put like period blood on my like on his food? And his spaghetti. Hey, what? There, is that better, guys? I'll react like that. It's spaghetti. Yeah, all right. It must just, it must just, it must just be feelings that's never gonna go away. You know what I'm saying? So I sound like a fucking loser. I'm gonna be so real with y'all. I sound like a loser. I sound like a heartbroken loser that will that will never get his bitch back ever again in his motherfucking life. <laughs> oh, he gave us an ad. At least he fucking knows. Like, you okay. do sound like a loser. Because how are you treating me that bad for so long? Yeah. And now, three years later, you, you weeping what you... Man. I don't give a fuck for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that ever again in his motherfucking life. And that's just what it is. You mean, I don't give a fuck for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'm well acquainted by now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just hearing a lot of yapping. So. Oh, I'm all I'm I'm up good, bro. Pause. Hey, yo, you can stop me my bad, y'all. I posted this video, bro. I basically said how I feel and shit. I said how I feel. I told her, like, like what it was. I said, never found this type of love again. Just a bunch of girls who use me in one way or another. And even to this day, years later, I still hurt over this girl. It's a pain I can't run from no matter how hard I try or how high I get. I don't block some songs so this shit crazy. What's he talking about? I don't, I, I don't know. Right now, he's reading his caption um, that he put on Instagram. Is he? You said you would never leave me, you're a liar, it's whatever, though. F you for real. I'm trying to put some ads on there. I ain't about to, <laughs> I ain't about to say the F word. I need some ads on this motherfucker. Yeah, he I just money. said it anyway. So look, I posted this video. This is what I posted with the, with the message. <laughs> so this part of the video is what I saw. This is what was said to me. And I'm not going to lie, this part hurt my feelings because... As much as I will never like want to go back, never, no time feeling like that ever. It's sad to see like his facial expression when he said, "Like you're a loser, like you lost your girl." Like he's talking to himself, his past self. Like you're an idiot. Um, uh -uh, that that's, part I text Berlin. And I was like, "That's sad." Like, that's accountability. Don't feel sorry for that. That's accountability. He needed it for himself. Cause now look. Now, like, one, there's no chance of ever getting me back, which is cool, whatever that happens with people that break up. Cool. But it is sad to see him battling his own mind now because it's like, you can't change what you did. At the end of the day, you did what you did. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this is the part I'm talking about. <clears throat> yeah, it's a different type of trifling to, like, um, kick a woman out and... and I keep saying, I have to say, we've been in our 20s before, so clearly I have done things that um, <clears throat> I've definitely gotten my karma for. I'm going to just say that. But it's things that I will never do again, okay? Um, some niggas will do it again, over and over and over again. And I'm glad she knows her worth, you know what I'm saying? And she ain't playing with none of that. I, I respect that, um, and I love that for her. Um, yeah. And he'll be all right. He will be all right. Loser. <laughs> you lost your girl. He crashing out. Yeah, that part 
probably kind of sad. Damn, dumbass. Yeah, it's like, you, you did it to yourself, bro. Let's rewatch that. I ain't about to say the F word. I need some ass with the, with the message. <laughs> They watched me lose all my weight. I was a skinny toothpick back then. Like, I looked miserable in every video. Y'all even said it. Y'all said she looks miserable. Cause mm. I was. It mm. was. Y'all saw it in the videos before I even said it. And you guys act like you just made one mistake. And I was like, my bitch. After being together for three years. Like, no, I literally sat there and forgave and forgave and forgave and forgave to the point that there was nothing left to forgive. Like, I look like a mm. dumbass. I knew shit. I knew I couldn't sit here and keep forgiving the day that he was in Miami and he went live and there was a girl in her underwear while he was in the bathtub naked. Like, he did that while we were together and I was here for it. Wait, he Miami. did what? Like, he forgiving the day that he was in Miami and he went live and there was a girl in her underwear while he was in the bathtub naked. Like, he did that while we were together and I was mm. here for it and he was in Miami. Like, when he did that, I was like, bro, now, I look stupid as fuck for staying after this one. Like, that was kind of like the last icing on the cake of being publicly uh, humiliated. You know what I'm saying? Rich is just private behind the scenes. Like, that shit don't work anyway. So, I'm about to say our response, bro. Look, I'm already on. <laughs> I'm already on our page. So, where is that? So, she said, it said everything. Hold up, let me watch the video first. Thing. In, in his book, Paper Towns, it says, it is so hard to leave no, until you leave. And then it is the easiest goddamn thing in the world. So I posted that because it literally shows me on live crying. It shows him having me on live while packing my shit up, wearing an old, like, bata. Because none of, I had none of my clothes. He didn't let me get none of my clothes. I was wearing, like, my family's clothes. So that video shows me, him live streaming me, getting all my- Men love to, t <laughs> men love to take what they gave you. <sighs> Stuff out the apartment. Once again, we all have done some things in our 20s. But niggas would do this over and over and over again. I'm gonna grab everything I could. It shows me crying on live. It shows me crying after the fact in my new oh, apartment. Oh, he really humiliated her. It shows me her. signing for my new apartment and like the difference, like how happy I look after I finally left. So that's why I posted that as my response video. <laughs> and that's right on the line. Right, being on the edge of that cliff, it is terror, sheer terror. It is so mm. Oh, battery Power off. I even like the way she's eating her nachos. Like she makes me want to a la carte my sour cream, cheese, meat, even the lettuce. She topping the lettuce off. <laughs> I need some nachos. In this book, Paper Towns, it says it is so hard to leave until you leave. And then it is the easiest goddamn thing in the world. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. So that's, Look. I did the message. 
He won't even watch the video all the way through. He just clicked to just, all right, whatever. Like, watch and analyze what the fuck is happening in the video. That was him in the beginning pointing his finger in my face like this. Yelling at me on live. In front of thousands of people. Mm -mm. Had the phone like that with this. Yelling at me in front of people. Like, it's like he forgot these things happened. Let me see what you said. Let me see the, the, the message she said. She said it took everything in me to leave a relationship where I wasn't respected. Degraded cheap. Why he made that face? Oh, look, that's that's right there, the video that I was just talking about. Look at him pointing at me. Look at his finger yelling at me in front of thousands of people. And he making that face when I said publicly humiliated. Like, yes, nigga. Really? I walked away knowing I did everything in my power. Look, in my family's clothing. When the fuck do I ever wear outfits like that? Looks like about 1,800 people in there. Oh, no. Watching me pack my shit and leave the apartment. Oh, no. Who, who goes live during shit like this? Not everything is for the media. To make that relationship work. Yeah, it's crazy. Parallels desktop 19. Experience. I love with every ounce of me. It's been years and I've never been happy. I found new friends and closer with my family. And overall, so happy with where my life is at now. I know some of y'all, that damn lettuce is pissing y'all off, the little dip on the lettuce. <laughs> I'm not so bad for choosing me. All right. Hey, this is what I got to say about that. Hey, Bree, listen. Like, it, it, it's been years, I understand. It, it seemed like, it seemed like you're never going to forgive and forget, or, or you just want, I don't know, you just want a negativity in the air between us. I just want What? guys to know some of the things that uh he did were literally unforgivable like i will never forgive him Facts. and i don't think like he, like i said i think he did too, too much drugs or something because he genuinely doesn't remember how bad he fried me. you can tell he's fried for sure he did unforgivable shit but i really want to i really want to be cordial and shit to him i really want to take you out somewhere take he you said cordial really want to I really want to be cordial and shit. To him. I really exactly want to take you out somewhere and take you out, like, on an island somewhere, some water and some shit, because you told us what. I really want to do that for you. You think she going to feel safe on an island with you? <laughs> Niggas be tripping. Not after you did all of that. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I really do want to do that for you, but... Yeah, video again. He's literally seeing himself do it. Why is he not acknowledging that? Like, acknowledge what he if did. You really feel like because he ain't crying, looking for him. Locked friend. in the room, by the way. He I went in the room and locked myself in the room because I was scared of him. Mm. Went live so that I thought being live would protect me a little bit. There was three thousand people in that live. Okay. Yeah, about three thousand people in that live. You guys gotta realize that's sad that you have to go live for that shit. Just... Yeah, to to feel like. I'm somewhat safe. You know what I'm saying? Then I, I'm. Y'all, my power cut out. I don't even know what I was saying. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you be. I'm gonna let you be respectfully, bro. Like I'm not going. I'm not going to try to stick around and shit. And you feeling like? You know what I'm saying? I hurt you to the point. Like, is is that? You feel me? And I want you. To, I want you to. Scott, you were in the live when I was hiding? I'm gonna right. pray for you and shit. Like, for real, for real, I do love you, Bree. Like, I always do. I never did stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these relationships with all these girls and shit was really, like, voids I was trying to fill. You know what I'm saying? To the point I realized I couldn't find, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't find one girl and every girl. So I just, I realized the pattern I was in, bro. You know what I'm saying? I gave the YouTube shit a break. I realized the YouTube shit was driving me crazy. I what I tell y'all, the views and the money took this nigga soul. Being with multiple girls. Yes, it did. You know what I'm saying? Putting it on camera and shit. And I was being, I was, I was, bro, I was dragging myself deeper and deeper, bro. You feel me? So I had to take a break. I had to get, now I personally can say that I now see why I was going through what I was going through, but I really.
people, it's just heartbroken the whole time. Just, just trying, trying to feel some shit. You feel me? Trying, trying to escape, trying to do whatever you want to call it, but just trying to fill the void that couldn't be filled. And I, and I. I told Divine this too because when I'm telling y'all, he had it made. Like, the type of girlfriend he had, so loyal, like cooking every night, cleaning, whatever he wanted to do, like that. That was what we do. I think the only thing. Excuse me. <laughs> I think the only thing um, negative, I guess you could say, is like I said, I'm an asexual person and he's a very sexual person. Um, so I guess you could say like his his needs probably weren't met in that form. What is asexual? A term used to describe someone who does not experience sexual attraction towards individuals of any gender. So she don't care for sex. Yeah, that could cause an issue in a relationship. Sex is a non-negotiable for me. So, I mean, not to the point where I'm about to take it. It's just more so like, if you're not interested in doing that, I'm going to get it. Uh, that's just what it is. Some people are not. Some people just don't want to do it <laughs> and to be honest that's okay but don't get mad at me when i get to doing it to whoever i want to do it to but then again it's like when you it what it have is. someone wanting to do that kind of thing all the time and you're not someone that does it all the time it gets to a point where you just start saying no i don't want to do it anymore at all um like i'm done and i think that would be where i led him to cheating i guess um, but no, cause I didn't provide that stimulation for him. Did, um, did he know that before y'all got into the relationship? Well, I, no, I didn't, cause I didn't even know that about myself in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I just knew I wasn't a person that needed to have sex once a day, twice a day, three, like I never needed that. Like I'm not that type of person. Um, if it happens, it happens. But for him, it was like, I need it all the time. And don't get me wrong, I used to beat myself up for it because I'm like, why can't I get in the mood for him? Like, why is it that I'm not, like, why don't I want to do this all the time like he does? Is there something wrong? Am I, is there something wrong with me? Like, am I fucking up? Because now I, th I used to feel it on the nights that I would be like, no, I'm not, I don't want to. His whole mood would change. And then I would be like, man, like, he's going to go cheat on me. Like, that, that's how my mindset was. So it got to a point where I was just doing it so that I wouldn't be cheated on. Um... No, y'all, y'all can argue with me all you want. If somebody, if your boyfriend wants to have sex and you don't let him go have sex, period, or go get with somebody else, leave him. Like y'all may think it's selfish for a person to go out and have sex with somebody because uh, they have needs. But if you don't want that, nobody has to sit around and wait for you. If that's the case, we both being selfish. I've never stood for that. I don't agree at all. <laughs> I just don't no, agree. No, that that's where. And I damn sure don't, don't agree with a man taking it from you or a woman taking it from you. Nobody should have their cookies taken because they don't want to give them out. So, with that being said, I think you should definitely work on not, not like if you don't want to give it up, leave it alone feel like he could say was a big downfall of mine was just not pleasing him in that way um as much as i should have or not being experimental and things like that and then when i did try to do it i just felt so uncomfortable and out of like character because i'm very traditional i guess you could say whatever um but you know y'all see from his youtube videos like he's just very sexual like he's a very sexual being um, and I'm not. I'm the complete opposite. Anything you've ever saw me do that was even remotely um, sexual with him was obviously for the camera. Like he wanted me to bend over and do this or act like you want to do it right now. And that like I, I don't do that. I don't ever do that. So um, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, to this point, bro, I realized like it's never going. It's, it's always going to be like that. You feel me? And for now, it's always gonna be like that, bro. For me, wanting her, just her specifically, it's always gonna be me just, just feeling like it's a void or some shit. But at the same time, 
this, whatever. Like, we get older, time go by, you know, time heals all and shit. Like, but I'm just trying to find, like, damn, what the fuck? I've been down there, what, three, four years and shit, and I'm still feeling shit. Like, that shit don't even make no sense, but you just got that time working shit. So I ain't tripping, like, I see how she feels, seem like, you know what I'm saying? I heard feelings or whatever. Time is working against him because there's honestly nothing he could do to make me even think about trying again. I'm traumatized by him. I'm literally traumatized by him. <laughs> it's him sitting there looking at her TikTok. Trending. With the cheeks out. Like this is why I will never buy. Like I'm traumatized now by by by, by big booties and, and BBLs and CDLs and shit because. CDLs. Yeah, I heard that before. <laughs> like the driver, like what yeah. you did to drive yeah. trucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all heard what he said? And CDLs and shit because. I bought a girl BBL, she left me. <laughs> this is what I mean. What? Yeah. <laughs> what did you listen to? <laughs> I bought a girl BBL, she left me. Y'all heard what he said? And CDLs and shit because I bought a girl BBL, she left me. <laughs> this is what I mean. We did that. He didn't buy no goddamn BBL, bro. What the fuck? Not for you. <laughs> Gone in a way. Never, never to be seen again. <laughs> Where do I begin? You feel me? So the cheeks they traumatize. My soul is like a garden of flowers. <laughs> when you see my my soul, you ever seen when Tafiti? turned back into like when they restored yeah. her heart and then she turned into the beautiful yeah. island and everything. Yeah. That is me. That is what my soul looks like. After I healed myself from him. Cause I was, was it Taka? When she, when she was the devil? Oh yeah. I was her and then my heart was restored. And then I turned into the beautiful Tafiti. They restored my heart. And I hope you heal. I hope you, because for real, on, on a real, I really do want you to heal. I really do want you to just let go of the, of the pain and the hurt and just be, just be. <laughs> I'm healed, Papa. <laughs> I'm so healed. It's crazy how healed I am. There's no scar. It's how long it's been since I healed. But, um... I think the only one that needs to heal is him. And um, it's not that I'm holding on to the negative stuff in the past, it's that I'm not forgetting what you did to me. Ever. Be happy we alive right now, just be happy, but like. I am happy I'm alive. Cause you know, I could have been gone. We could even have another chance to be together. Like, I just really hope you heal and heal your soul by like your cheeks, they, 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 they caked up. Happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? I what? I blow the candles out. <laughs> so what, nigga? But look, all I'm saying, Bree. Bro, man. <laughs> you gotta understand, like, it's whatever. You feel me? I'm, I'm gonna go by my day, and and I, I, I might keep trying. I might not keep trying. I might tap in here and there, or I might just go ghost and never try again. I really don't know. You feel me? I don't know how I'm feeling. I don't know what's to come. I can't read the future. But I said how I feel. I put my emotions out there. I put a policy out there. I put everything that could be put out there. I put out there. You feel me? Real emotions, real words, everything. I put myself out there. I love balls out. I put it out there. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So, that's all I can really do, y'all. I'm not going to stress it. I'm not going to really worry about it. I'm not going to keep going back and forth because at the end of the day, it, it, it's no point. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why I want y'all to really just realize the type of world we live in, realize the type of evil we facing, bro. You know? What he should be saying is, to the young niggas out there, appreciate the women you have while you have them. Because there's always that one that got away and it destroys your soul for the rest of your life. That's what he should be telling y'all. The evil in the world is... Do better. You know what I'm okay. saying? I was never meant to, to fucking win this shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't want me to get my motherfucking girl back. Motherfuckers don't want this shit back. You know don't want him to get his old oh, girl back. Do better. You know what I'm saying? I was never meant to, to fucking win this shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't want me to get my motherfucking girl back. Motherfuckers don't want that shit back. You think motherfuckers want that shit back? <laughs> she don't want you back. <laughs> no. So I was never meant to win in this shit anyway, but you gotta keep fighting, bro. You gotta just, just stand up for yourself. Who give a fuck? That's it's the world, bro. We not we meant to lose, bro. Since I came out the motherfucking coochie, I was meant to lose. You know what I'm saying? But who said I don't agree with that? I'm well acquainted, bro. I'm used to this shit by now. But hey, listen, I'm gonna do a couple reactions and shit. I'm gonna get better my reactions, my old school days, but I'm about to do about four or five reactions on this on, on this channel, on the Red channel. I'm about to be posting reactions on this. I know how you used to post vlogs on there and shit like that, but I want to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more open on this page, a little bit, have a little bit more fun. Cause I'm not really. I'm absolutely making nachos today. Vlog right now, so I want to have a little bit more fun, do some reactions and shit like that. Fix your soul, heal yourself, but uh, fun, do some reactions, keep it real with y'all always. But, uh, Bree, I'm gonna say this to you. Fix your soul, heal yourself, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say, for real. Being honest, I don't know what to say. I can say it all. I said it all on Instagram. I went live a couple times, said some shit. So I don't really. It's to fix your soul for me. Sir, if anybody's in pain, it's you. Yeah, too much to say right now. And it shows. Real. It really you know shows. What I'm but y'all can like this video, subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. We about to, um... Well, chat, what do y'all think? <laughs> That's the video he just dropped. Let's see what, see what the comments talking about. I don't... We gonna ignore the fact that the video was already hearted? Like, bro, who are you trying to fool? Because he already saw the video. Full of shit. Boo, he sounds delusional. Tomatoes. <laughs> I love my chat. Oh, shit, that was it. All right. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, Shit, I feel where she coming from. A thousand percent. Bruh is fried. Something is going on. He is sick of himself and... Uh, I think she's she's not lying when she says she's healed. She seems very healed. Um, I mean, it ain't nothing to talk about. Nothing. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.